Hello guys, welcome back to Mr. Nigerian Crypto. Guys, in this video, we're taking a look at the general crypto market. We're having a green month in the crypto market. We're having a green week in the crypto market. But guys, we're having a red day in the crypto markets today. Is the relief rally over? Are we going to start dumping into Goblin Town? Right now, Bitcoin is trading below $24,000. We're taking a look at Bitcoin US dollar price chart. Also looking at Ethereum's price chart. And then we look at sentiments in the market. Some indicators are showing us that right now, we're in all coin season. Should we start buying all coins right now? This indicator is flashing all season. Should we start buying all coins right now? We're still looking at sentiments in the market and we'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money trading and investing in cryptocurrency, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, kicking off today's video, the all coin season index is telling us that right now we're in all season. And history has shown us that anytime this all coin season index has gone towards all season, it means the all coins are outperforming Bitcoin. And you know that all coins are what is popping right now. And if all coins are popping, it means a crash is around the corner. It's not all bad news. We're seeing all season. We're just in the early phase of the all season. We just got into all season today. So right now, which all coins are you holding? Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. You can see that for us to be in all season, it's 75% of the top 50 coins have performed better than bitcoin over the last 90 days so in the last three months bitcoin has dropped only 42 percent and we have more than 75 percent in the top 50 coins have outperformed bitcoin we still have a green day in the all coin market we still have a green week in the all coin market we're still actually having a green month in the all coin market guys bitcoin currently is below twenty four thousand dollars twenty four thousand dollars has been acting as a resistance for bitcoin you can see right here that when bitcoin was pumping to new all-time highs in december 2020 Bitcoin having some issues crossing 24,000. You can see that we took a chill pill right there around 24,000. When we broke out of that 24,000, we went straight to 41,000. So, with the history repeat itself, are we going to pump to the moon right now? We're below 24,000. If we can close the daily candle above 24,000, the market will start getting bullish. The next resistance level we need Bitcoin to clear, then will be that 28, 29,000 region. And if by some miracle Bitcoin can clear it, maybe just maybe we'll see a 40. 42 maybe fifty thousand dollar bitcoin before the end of the year only time we tell guys right now the number one altcoin in the market ethereum ethereum is trading below one thousand seven hundred dollars ethereum has actually gone above one thousand seven hundred ethereum has been pumping since when the merge came since we have been hearing news of the merge and how ethereum is moving to proof of stake ethereum has been rallying because of that call and right now ethereum has gone from as low as eight hundred and eighty two dollars to as high as $1,791. Ethereum actually got to $1,800 on some exchanges. That's over a 100% pump. But guys, $1,800 is a very, very strong resistance level for Ethereum. You can see that that level has been acting as support for Ethereum throughout 2021 even early 2022 when we we're dumping to goblin town that place acted as support right now it's acting as resistance if we cannot break through there guys we'll see ethereum turning back and coming back to test this lows again but if we're lucky consolidate consolidate and we'll break to the upside that's what a lot of people will get wrecked in the market because right now guys a lot of people are still in stable coins a lot of people in the market are waiting for the market to dump so that they'll get all these coins at cheaper prices and we know that the market will always do opposite of what people are waiting for so the people are waiting for the market to dump the market to actually pump and guys when the market gets to this level maybe ethereum gets to as high as three thousand eight hundred maybe even four thousand dollars a lot of people will start for moving back they'll be fearing that maybe just maybe they miss the bottom and they can't take it anymore they can't sit on the sideline they will get in and when they get in we'll start consolidating or we dump at that time let's take a look at the total crypto market cap the total crypto market cap is currently above one trillion dollars that one trillion dollar sign has been acting as a resistance level for the total crypto market cap and just like ethereum total crypto market cap fell below this huge huge support this one trillion dollar line has been acting as support for the total crypto market cap when we first go to one trillion dollars on the 7th of january 2021 right there we faced resistance we had to consolidate a rotation happened right here from bitcoins into all coins guys after the restriction happened what happened we went to set new all-time highs we had another bear market in mid 2021 that region acted as support then when we are dumping in 2022 that region also acted as support right now it's acting as resistance can we break through one trillion dollars and go to maybe 1.5 trillion dollars maybe the total crypto market cap can go to as high as two trillion dollars guys let's not forget right now we're still in the bear market so right now 
the general trend will still be downwards, but that doesn't mean we're not going to pump. We know that even the bear markets are still going to get some rallies. It just means overall, we might still have lower to go. If we take a look at Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance in the market is actually reducing. That's a good sign. If you're holding all coins, you want to see Bitcoin dominance reducing. If Bitcoin dominance start getting below the low we set in 2021, that would be some good sign. We can see Bitcoin dominance going below 39%. That was when Bitcoin was setting all-time highs in November, December 2021. Bitcoin dominance fell to as low as 39%. That would be a good sign. That was the last time we saw the all-coin season index showing us that we're in all season. Bitcoin dominance was at 39%. Right now, the all coins is index is showing us that we are currently at all season. Right now, it looks as if the smart play will be in all coins. But guys, remember, just the fact that all coins have outperformed Bitcoin in the last 30 days or in the last 90 days don't mean they will continue outperforming Bitcoin in the next 90 days. Most times, all these indicators are actually lagging. So be careful out there. Let's look at some other metrics in the market. The US dollar currency index currently is dumping. The dollar has been pumping really hard. Has the dollar topped? Because guys, we know that anytime the dollar is dumping, that is when crypto is pumping. And anytime the dollar is pumping, crypto is dumping. And you can see that the dollar has been pumping since January 2021. And that was the official end of Bitcoin's bull run. Like that was where a lot of wheels were taking profit. After then, Bitcoin has been dumping really hard. Bitcoin has not really had any significant profit increase since then. But you can see that the dollar has been increasing in value since then. The dollar went up over 21 percent against other currency. But look, I see the dollar has stopped right now, and that would be a good sign for the crypto market if the dollar has actually topped. If you take a look at some other metrics in the market, the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, is currently holding support well. We found support around 352 billion dollars right now. We want to clear this 422 billion dollar level. If we can blast through that level, then the next logical support for us or the next logical resistance level, the next resistance level we want to clear is the $600 billion region. But guys, if you notice something strange, is that from here, from the $422 billion region, it's almost just a straight line pump to this $600 billion region. That's almost a 50% pump. And guys, if that happened in the market, a lot of people will get wrecked. A lot of people will start forming back into the market. The top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization in the last 24 hours is still unchanged. We have Bitcoin still at number one, Ethereum at number two. We have the stablecoin wars going up at number three and four, USDT and USDC. At number five, we have BNB. Number six, we have BUSD. Number seven, XRP. Number eight, Cardano Ada. Number nine, Solana. And number 10 is Polkadot. Those are the top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization in the last 24 hours. Guys, the top gainers and the top losers in the market in the last 24 hours in the top 100 coins. We have Socials. Socials, the top gainers, is up 18.47% in the last 24 hours. We have Basic Attention Token, Zcash, Mina, and XDC. Top losers in the last 24 hours, Falcon, Lido Dio, KSM, Helium, Curve Dio, and Stellar. Those are the top losers in the last 24 hours. Guys, sentiment in the market is improving. Right now, the market is still in fear, but the fear and greed index is reading the sentiment of 42 out of a possible 100. When we get towards 100, that's when the market is in greed. When we get towards zero, the market is in extreme fear. The market has been struck in extreme fear for months on end. In the last three months, this is the highest reading we have gotten in the fear and greed index. The last time we got a reading of 42 was in April 2022. Since then, we have been in extreme fear in the crypto market. History has shown us that extreme fear has always been the good time to buy Bitcoin. Right now, it looks as if we are heading towards neutral and then we'll head towards greed. But only time will tell maybe the relief rally is over and we'll go back to extreme fear because, guys, the bear market is a very, very long period in time. It's not just going to happen in two, three months. The last time, Bitcoin took more than 100 days to bottom. Right now, if we say Bitcoin has even bottomed out on the 18th of June 2020, Bitcoin has just spent 50 days at the lows. So even if Bitcoin will take 120 days to bottom, we'll not see Bitcoin getting out of this range till maybe October or November 2022. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think is going to happen in the market? Right now, the altcoin season index is flashing, telling us that we're in altcoin season. Are you holding any altcoins? Is your altcoins in profit? Are you going to be selling into the rally or will you be waiting for higher prices? I want to hear your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Seven.